A busted pipe leaves a big mess for more than a dozen businesses. The historic park building is in the heart of Council Bluffs, but for now it's closed. One business owner says she walked into work during sub-zero temperatures only to find a waterfall coming from the ceiling. KETV Newswatch 7's Maddie Augustine takes us inside. The water just had nowhere to come but down. A space once filled with laughter, pink decor, and the smell of freshly brewed coffee. When it gets full in here, it gets loud and people are laughing and having a lot of fun, but uh, right now it's kind of empty and dark. Now in shambles. I had a big princess chair here. It was like a big crown princess chair. That It was a great photo op. Pam Carter, owner of Stella and Irene's Cafe and Boutique, says she spent the past two weeks picking up what's left of her business after a pipe burst on the fourth floor of the historic park building in downtown Council Bluffs. The standing water was buckling the floors and things and it just devastated the whole building. Fans scattered across the cafe's floor drying up what's left of the water. And pieces of the ceiling still falling to the ground. It's just, this makes me sad the way it looks right now because before it was just, it was beautiful and light and pink and flowery. Carter says she first opened two years ago. I found this restaurant for sale two years ago and um, I just took a leap of faith and decided to go for it. Naming it after her grandmother's, she says it was an extension of her family. I have regulars that would be here at nine o'clock in the morning when the door opens, you know, having their coffee and oatmeal or a piece of quiche. Um, they are just, they're a family. We're a family here. Describing Stella and Irene's as nothing short of magical. Friends and uh, people reconnecting, um, people coming in for business, for pleasure, for a book club. Um, it was just, it was just a magical, unique place. But the cost of reopening, Carter says, is too much. I don't anticipate at this time that we'll reopen. And while the close sign is permanent, so are the memories and community that was built at Stella and Irene's. Stella and Irene's just just meant the world to me. You know, beyond beyond money and business, it was just the love that was that was here and the people that connected while they were here. Maddie Augustine, KETV Newswatch 7.